And welcome back to another Econ Podcast with Mr. Hagen. On this Econ Podcast, we're going to talk about the law of unintended consequences. This is the idea that a government might pass a law, for example, uh, that, that they want to do one thing and instead has an unintended qu- consequence. Uh, may, maybe the opposite thing happens than, than what they hoped. And to understand this idea, we're going to look at the example of mandatory seatbelt laws. Now, before we start, I want to be very, very clear on, on one thing. I encourage you, and I'll give you a reason in a moment, I encourage you to wear your seatbelt and drive safely. Okay, we're, I'm not a, we're not asking questions right now about wearing seatbelts. We are asking questions about mandatory seatbelt laws. So we are asking questions on public policy. Let's look at the results of mandatory seatbelt laws. So I'm going to argue that there are two results of mandatory seatbelt laws. The first one, everybody would predict and agree with, and that is a decrease in fatalities per accident. Okay, that, so that's obvious. I mean, that, that's why I, I tell you to wear your seatbelt and drive safely, right? So if you wear your seatbelt, if you're wearing your seatbelt, that will decrease the number of deaths per accident. Okay, so so that's 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 what we wanted to happen by passing the mandatory seatbelt law. More people wear their seatbelts, and therefore there will be fewer deaths per accident. That that's what we wanted. What is the un- possible unintended consequence? The possible unintended consequence is that if you pass a mandatory, if the state passes a mandatory seatbelt law, that that will decrease the cost of reckless driving. Now, that's to say this. This is a hard idea for many, many people to accept. So, wait a minute, Hagen, I, I don't think I'm going to buy this idea. Uh, the, the idea is this. It's, it's basic economics. Remember we said before that anytime we reduce the cost of a behavior, people will what? People will do it more. So if you pass a mandatory seatbelt law, then people will feel safer in their cars. That will decrease the cost of, for example, speeding. So if you decrease the cost of speeding, then my prediction is that you will increase the amount of speeding that happens. You will increase the amount of reckless driving. People will do it more often, okay? might not be, you know, I'm not saying that they would that they're going to be driving 100 miles an hour, but you know, instead of going 60 miles an hour, they drive 70 miles an hour or whatever. They they increase their speed a little bit because they they feel safer. And that increase in speeding, that increase in reckless driving, um, that actually then could cause an increase in the number of accidents. Okay, so if more people are driving faster, the number of accidents on the highway may actually rise. And then if the number of accidents rises, then that may very well increase the number of deaths, the number of automobile-related deaths. So what's important here is that there are two results of the mandatory seatbelt law. The first one will decrease the number of deaths. That's the intended consequence through a decrease in fatalities per accident because you're safer in your car if you're wearing a seatbelt. However, it will increase or could increase the number of accidents through the law of unintended consequences. A decrease in the cost of speeding will be more speeding, which will increase the number of accidents, which will increase the number of deaths. So then the question really becomes is which one of these effects is bigger? Which one of these effects is bigger? Will the number of deaths actually go down or will the number of deaths actually go up? Which one of these effects with a decrease in deaths over here more than offset the increase of deaths on this side? 
which one of those effects is bigger. And there's various studies that you could look at that will argue these two different sides. And uh, I'm not going to take a stand on that one way or another. But simply to add one last thing, and that is what happens to pedestrians, people who are walking on the streets. If, if you pass a uh, mandatory seatbelt law, okay, the people wearing their seatbelts in their cars are, are going to be safer, okay, and that's going to reduce the number of deaths. However, pedestrians, they are not wearing seatbelts, so they don't get the benefits of this the decreased fatalities per accident. So the problem for the pedestrian is they're just going to suffer from this side. If you decrease the costs by passing the mandatory seatbelt law, there will be, we predict, more speeding, therefore an increase in the number of accidents, and therefore an increase in the, sorry, let me write that again, that will cause an increase in the number of pedestrian deaths okay that that would be our prediction so this over here this is an intended consequence of the law decrease fatalities per accident on the other side this over here an increase in the number of accidents an increase in the number of pedestrian deaths and maybe an increase in the number of of deaths for occupants in the automobiles this is the unintended consequence. That's what we mean by the law of unintended consequences. We pass a law hoping for one thing, but sometimes the opposite happens. That's the law of unintended consequences. This has been another Econ Podcast with Mr. Hagen encouraging you to wear your seatbelt and drive safely. We'll see you on the next podcast.